Jesus is King. And that's not just the name of a long-delayed Kanye West album and IMAX movie. It's also a real, actual truth. An objectively unrealized reality. Jesus is King spiritually now, and soon he'll be King in the physical realm. The Jews thought that was about to happen about a week before they crucified him when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a little colt and was hailed king by his people. The significance of the colt is massive. 500 years before Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a little colt, Zechariah said in Zechariah 9.9, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt. Even crazier, 1,300 years before that, Jacob prophesied over his 12 sons, and when he got to Judah, he said, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until tribute comes to him, and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples. He's talking about Jesus Christ, who comes from the line of Judah. Then in verse 11, Jacob says, Binding his foal to the vine and his donkey's colt to the choice vine. Where is Jesus only four days later? The Last Supper the vine. This prophecy is 1,800 years old, and it talks specifically about the week that Jesus was crowned king by his people. Little did they know that in his death, he was made king over all. We just have to wait for him to come back. In fact, it isn't just a past and a present thing, it's a future thing. It says in Revelation 17, 14, they will make war on the Lamb and the Lamb will conquer them for he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings and those with him are called chosen and faithful. The King of Kings. If there was a nation of only kings and they needed to choose a king over them, Jesus would be the best choice. He is the King of Kings. Is he King of your life? Because he's King of the world. Well, he will be when he comes back. And that is an awesome thing about God. Do you believe it?